In this video, we'll be talking about extrema of a function, specifically maximum points and minimum points. Let's look at some curves and see if we can't pick out extrema. First one that we'll look at is this piece of the function x squared plus 1. Um, we're just going to look at the closed interval from negative 1 to 2. You can see that we have an absolute maximum here at the point 2, 5. And we have an absolute minimum here at the point zero one. Now we can also check to see if we have a max and a min by looking at the y value you can see that this y value is larger than the y values of the other points. This y value is smaller than the y values of the other points. Our next one is an open interval. It's the same curve, x squared plus 1, but this time the endpoints are not included. Now, if we were going to try to pick a maximum. Remember that an open interval, this endpoint is not included, so our curve is getting closer and closer to that point, but we never actually reach that point. So we cannot specifically say that there is a, a maximum for this curve. So there's no maximum. Now we do, however, know that we can find a minimum because this point is included in the graph. So this point would be our absolute minimum. On this one, same curve, y equals x squared plus 1, but we have a hole in the graph at x equals 0, and we have that point plotted up here at the 0, 3. So this would, I guess, be a piecewise defined function. But we can see that this point is included because we do have a closed interval. This should be closed here. So this point is going to be an absolute maximum. But since this point here, since there's a hole in the graph, um, we have no minimum. Because again, you can get closer and closer and closer to that point, but you never have a specific point there that is a minimum. Now let's look at this example. We're talking about the curve on the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. We kind of see that we have a maximum here, but we can't say that it's an absolute maximum. Let's say it's right about there. Uh, we can't say it's an absolute maximum because we do have points that are higher, that have a, a larger y value as we extend to the right over here. So uh, instead of saying 
uh, an absolute maximum, we would say that this one is a relative max. So whenever we talk about a relative max, we're talking right around that neighborhood. If you put a little circle right around that point, then you're comparing that point to other points that are in that circle. And the other points would have a y value that's slightly less than that one. So it is a relative max. And then we can talk about a min here. Let's say it's right about there. But again, there are points that are lower on the graph that have a smaller y value. So we would call this a relative min. Now, when we talk about relative extrema, they can occur in two ways. If the graph is smooth and rounded, like the example we just did, then the graph has a horizontal tangent line at the relative max and or the relative min. In other words, um, you can find your relative extrema when the derivative is equal to zero. Now recall that if we were going to look at our tangent line here on this one, I've got a little straw here. My uh, tangent line as I go up this curve has a positive slope and it continues to have a positive slope. But then as I hit that relative max, my tangent line becomes horizontal. And then when we go back down, I have a negative slope until I come over close to my relative min. And then my tangent line again is horizontal, which means it has a slope of zero. So the derivative of the tangent line is zero. And then as I go back up my function, I have a positive slope on my tangent line. So Basically, what you want to do is find the derivative of your function and set it equal to zero. And that will give you the x values where you have relative extrema. The other way that relative extrema can occur is if the graph is sharp and pointed. In that case, the function is not differentiable at the relative max and or min. So uh, you'll have relative extrema when the derivative does not exist. And a, a common example of that would be if you had the graph of y equals absolute value of x. Um, our tangent line on this side of the vertex is negative, but then at this point, so this one then would have a positive slope. So if it's sharp, it's not differentiable, um, and so therefore the derivative does not exist, but we can tell that our absolute minimum of, of, of this function would be 0, 0. And then the x values of relative extrema are called critical numbers. So we will look at critical numbers in another video.